Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball C Dokkan Battle. So, we have the full fledged ECA team for the Metal Cooler Squadron right here. As you guys can see, everybody has been full ECA'd. Well, not all of them are full level 10 links. I have been like constantly trying to get everybody to full level 10 links. I think I have only like two of them that are just not there yet. Um, we see over here i believe the physical one is just missing a few of his links up right there yeah just missing a few of his links there but uh that's okay we're gonna be trying the final stage of the fighting spirit of the saiyans uh and prior to the wicked bloodline event uh we're gonna do the stage six that is where you can be able to face just super saiyan goku and super saiyan vegeta um Hopefully we can be able to beat it with this team. I don't know how this will go. I, I don't know how many tries am I gonna do with this. So uh, strap yourselves in. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but let's see how far we can make it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new, we're on the road to 1K sub. So if you guys are new and you guys are interested and you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. It helps me out greatly. So uh, let's go ahead and proceed with this event right here i'm just gonna use a free-to-play lr metal cooler that way we can be able to see if there's any gauge and difficulty and stuff like that the the goku and vegeta man they hit insanely hard i don't know how well are we going to defend ourselves with this so um i'm hoping that we just don't get killed instantly um i also don't remember what i gave these guys for their hidden potential and stuff like that so um Maybe all of these guys would have benefit if I would have given additionals and stuff like that. Uh, the majority do have additionals, but it not not a lot of dodge, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And do this right here. I don't know how this will go uh, in terms of difficulty. Maybe we have to make some cuts. <laughs> 167k. Uh, not good. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. I have not been able to like beat this stage or beat these events and stuff like that because of this, man. This is that is ridiculous amount of damage, bro. That is a lot. Uh, I don't think we're good. I think we're just gonna be then the water unless my boy Metal Cooler Int comes with the dodges, maybe. Oh, we got the heal. How? Okay. That was interesting. I don't know how we healed that much, but uh, I think these guys have that in their passive. How do we heal? Oh, as damage dealt. So these guys recover a lot of HP as damage dealt. So basically, these are just going to be outright healers every now and then. Uh, well, some of them. Uh, let's see how our defense. Okay, we're looking pretty good. If we do get supered by this metal cooler right here, we either get to survive... We get the revive or the nullification, one of the two. Uh, let's go ahead and try this out and see how it goes. Oh, we get the revive instantly. Okay. Uh, man, I just don't know what to do with this event. All right, so, uh, unfortunate, we got the revive rather quickly. So we're going to try to do this as much as possible. Try not to get let this guy get killed. We have not gotten hit with a super attack, so I'm very afraid of that. I hope that we do get to super attack after this man supers. Uh, he should be fully built up with his additionals and stuff like that. I mean, with his attack buffs and the passive. But uh, we'll check and see, man. I don't have a lot of high hopes in here. Don't super, don't super, don't super. For the love of God and all that is holy, do not super attack me. Okay, thank you. Um, so far, so good. There's going to be some of these metal coolers that's going to heal us up because of the... Because of their passive. Uh, the ability for them to heal uh, per damage dealt, especially when they're ECA, they do a lot of damage, even though they're free-to-play units, man. That, they are pretty insane. That's that's pretty awesome to see as well. And the ability for them to greatly raise their defense for one turn on their super attacks is also going to be a big plus, especially on this event and stuff like that. So, um, 
let's go ahead and do this. Uh, actually, should I pop the active skill? Hmm. We're not sitting good on defense. Um, let's see, is it you that heals for HP? I, I need to remember these guys as passive and stuff like that. So they all of them will randomly change some ski uh, some key spheres into like rainbow key spheres. Uh, they give support on the team. Uh, they also have a uh, they did they provide? Uh, no, it's for him. So that's one of the main reasons I give him a little bit more dodges. I, I gotta know what I gave these guys, man. It's a little bit difficult, but um, let's go ahead and try. Uh, and let me make sure that this is off so I can be able to play it here. Uh, let's go ahead and play this guy's active skills real quick, and we will we'll continue on. I find the heal to be very, very helpful, uh, especially on that active skill for Metal Cooler. It's going to be very useful to have. Uh, I will try to do this, so that way if we do get super attacked, we happen to hit the nullification and stuff like that instead of just like outright dying. Because uh, I am very scared, very afraid that this event just might outright destroy us, basically. So you guys saw how much we took for this Metal Cooler. This Metal Cooler is not fully stacked up. Um, I am also doing it with a 170 liter just to test out the field and basically try to let you guys know that you can be able to do this with a 170 lead and uh, yeah so far so far so good we're actually doing pretty good uh, let's see right here oh can we dodge nope no dodge it's this death Oh, okay, I'll uh, I'll, I'll hop back in again, man. I keep trying, man. This is a very difficult stage, dude. One of the hardest stages that I've ever seen in this uh, this types of fight. Oh boy, I'll try with another metal cooler here. He's full of ten links. Okay, yeah, he is. Uh, I don't want to use. I can obviously use my metal cooler, like the LR metal cooler, just bring an absurd team, but uh. I want to be able to actually do this on, on camera. That this is doable. You can be, I, you're capable of doing this event, beating this event with the free-to-play metal coolers, because it, it's possible. It's it's very possible. I should have used a Weiss maybe on that on that turn. That possibly would have helped us out a lot. I, I keep thinking like, oh man, I gotta impress everybody, dude. I gotta use the I I gotta use the pro strats, man. No items. That's how the way to go. That's the way to go. Uh, we got the nullification, I believe, here, right? No way. Are we just going to outright get the revive? That is stupid. Okay. So that is like a combo super attack. That is not a, uh, a melee based super. I really thought that it was going to be like a normal like melee super attack. That's bad because we just wasted our revive. Man, that's absurd. Let me let me actually check these guys as super attack. Okay, yeah, it's like an un unidentified super attack where it's not a melee or it, it's more like a combo cuz uh, Metal Cooler just uh he's able to do the unarmed super attacks. So uh these guys don't have any unarmed super attacks. These both are just like combo super attacks. That's a lot of damage right there, man. We just lost half of our HP. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's a it's a risky gamble here trying to do this. Yeah, we're dead. Oh man. Okay. Second try done. I'll go for the next one. <laughs> uh I am not planning on skipping any single thing of this. I I'm planning to actually just upload this in its entirety. Uh, just to see how fair how fair this event can get. So uh, 
And you full level 10 links, dude. Where are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Like, I don't get it. I, I, we let you guys know that Metal Cooler has big bad bosses, right? Metal Cooler, since he has big bad bosses, the main thing that you should do is link level him. You guys know how powerful big bad bosses is? Big bad bosses is one of the greatest, I, uh, greatest links of all time. But full level ten links, imagine that at full level ten links, dude. One of the best uh, links in the game. And you guys are wasting it because you guys are not link leveling at all. Uh, let's see. Obviously, with a week, we're not going to take too much damage. And that, that's actually going to help out Metal Cooler being built up a lot. So um, now that we know that this Goku and Vegeta don't do a melee super attack, we are just going to try to defend ourselves as much as possible. Um, man, I, I obviously maybe... Like this strat right here, maybe using a Whis early in the fight can possibly help you out. Because if these guys come through with the additionals, they give you uh, the greatly racing defense. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> we got the dodge. <laughs> I don't know how many. This, here's the thing, right? Because I mixed it up on these on, on the builds for these metal coolers. I don't know how much dodges I provided to these guys. Uh, I might have mixed things up. I might have not given them like normal three dodges. Did I give him three dodge? No, he has like six dodge. I think everybody is like that. I give him like an additional dodge just so they can be able to um, defend themselves real quick. This guy has 15 additionals though. That that should have been my plan. Just give these guys more additionals than crit. Uh, this guy has more dodges. But is he helpful on the dodge? No, he's not. <laughs> so this hidden potential uh, might not be too useful on that tech unit. How about this guy? 11 dodge but i did give him 12 additional so he's he's gonna be sitting pretty good if he's able to provide those additionals and then this guy has level six so i every single free-to-play metal cooler i provided a little bit of extra dodge rather than just sustaining a lot of damage or just doing a lot of damage i could have given him more additionals since they greatly raised their defense on additional um that that was my that, that was my fault i i should have seen a little bit more of their kit after their eca so that way we could have maybe evaluate how well would their hidden potential uh go how how would you guys build these guys in their hidden potential basically uh so if you guys are still on the fence of using these guys maybe rainbowing them and stuff like that either way you still gotta eca them for you to get the 50 tickets uh if you're still on the fence of providing them their hidden potential just give them full additionals uh, full additionals might be the way to go for these guys. I did give him a little bit of extra dodge, as you guys can see. Oh, man. If you can dodge the super attack, that would be amazing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's go, baby. We love to see that. We love to see it. Uh, we don't have the Whis active anymore. Uh, I don't want to go into the next fight. I mean, we're close to actually getting into the next fight. So, let me... This guy has more defense, so we'll, we'll do this right here. All these guys, except for Metal Cooler... He will not. Uh, he will not have like fierce battle, all those links active and stuff like that, which actually deprives him a lot of, of attack and defensive links and stuff like that because of the free to play metal coolers. So uh, that's. I'm a little bit obviously on the fence because of that, but um, doing this free to play, with just uh, like obviously a lot of people should have metal cooler like the Dokkan Fest metal cooler, unless you're just like a new player, you just re rolled and stuff like that and decided to just like hey let me make a new account maybe you don't have them or maybe when you summoned uh you did a lot of pulls on these guys and you actually pulled the dokkan fest ago metal cooler um making this team this free-to-play team can actually help you out a lot as well because of their ecas and stuff like that so that's also going to be another very useful factor heading into these fights uh i'm going to send a use another Whis here uh i'm not going to risk it if we actually beat this stage, maybe using items is not the bad idea. Especially when you're running a free-to-play team. So, uh, uh, let's do this right here. Impressive. Very, very impressive. Obviously, items. It, it's, it's the way to go. Uh, and a lot of free-to-play players or players who don't take this game like very hardcore seriously. Would like to do this with items and be like, okay, I'm going to bring a Wii. I'm going to bring a Princess Snake. It's just the same way that this guy is doing it. Um, and we're golden. We're pretty good. We're sitting pretty. So, um, I imagine this is going to be the way to go as well. Um, for the other event where you had to face Metal Cooler Core, um, 
I believe just bringing a friend, Goku and Vegeta, is going to help you out a lot. And maybe just use, like, a joint forces, uh, a joint forces team in addition to, um, what is it? The joint forces slash movie heroes team. You can be able to bring the yellow Super Saiyan gods, the yellow Super Saiyan force, because they, they fit on that team. The Vegeta, the Vegito unit, the Gogeta unit, all those units in there. And possibly some bring bringing some others as well that benefit from that leader skill are going to help you out a lot. And then just bringing the Goku and Vegeta friend is your set on that event. So um, same thing with here. We brought the LR Metal Cooler, the physical Metal Cooler, instead of bringing our Metal Cooler, uh, the LR Metal Cooler. Because uh, I wanted to test things out here. You can be able to do this free to play. You absolutely can. Uh, it's just a matter of how the RNG rolls. Like, for example, here. Look at that. Dodges are... I am very happy that I build these guys. Like, I maybe full dodge. is Possibly not the way to go for these guys. Maybe. I don't know. It's something that... Um... It's something that you can decide on your own. Uh, I decided to build these guys a little bit more defensive, but since they do stack defense or like greatly raise their defense for one turn under super attack, probably giving them additionals is the way to go. So uh, let's just go ahead and play this active skill real quick. You know, I will leave the music on, but uh, unfortunately, it's playing the uh, the hero or save me hero in the background. I think that that OST is playing, so I'm not gonna be able to play it. Uh, we don't have, I believe, we don't have the Wii's active anymore. Uh, but I will do. I, should I activate a Princess Snake? I think we should be okay here. Uh, how's our defense looking like? Almost 300k. Hmm. I'm just gonna use it. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I'm just gonna. I, I just want to clear the fight. I just don't want to like go at it uh, uh, and try to do this again. Because you guys saw we had three attempts at this already. Uh, this event, you can beat it quickly. It's just that you gotta think uh, strategically. You gotta use items possibly in the beginning of the fight even. Because Goku and Vegeta hit very hard. So uh, possibly using items at the beginning of the fight should be the way to go. Uh, but yeah, look at this, man. The free-to-play Metal Coolers. Is doing a, they're doing a pretty good job at this. Um, remember that these guys, they greatly raise their defense from one turn under Super. Uh, just giving them a lot of additionals is going to be fine. Don't be like me. Maybe if you want to, then, then you can actually do it. But don't be like me, where you just actually just give these guys full dodge or something like that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's the way to go. Uh, if we do get hit with this guy on a super attack, we might be dead. Um, the Princess Snake is just for the turn. Ooh. Oh, my God. We got so far. See, that's the thing that I'm talking about. This is the this is the problem that I'm talking about. We just got hit by a devastating super attack. Is, is anybody using... The, they should be using freaking metal coolers. Why are they not full level 10 links? Why am I seeing Raditz? There's so many questions, dude. God. Oh, man. Doing this again. It's just stupid, man. Let me... Can I get the W for the video, man? We were just so close, and we just had to hit. We just had to get hit with a super attack. I'm gonna use a Whis. Hopefully, we don't get supered immediately. So we use the revive immediately as well, man. Can 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 you give us a chance? Mm? Can you give us that little break? Mm? <sighs> the these guys are good. These guys are good. It's just that this event in particular is just so nuts. It's just so difficult. There are. There are no ways that I can be able to explain how difficult this stage is, man. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, you guys have been seeing it. This is my fourth attempt now. Uh, I don't know if I'm ending the video when, when I beat this stage. I don't even know if I'm going to beat it this video. So, uh, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, strap yourselves in. You're, you guys are in for a ride. Um, but yeah, the free-to-play metal coolers are just uh, outstanding. They they do a lot. So let me. Uh, in the meantime that we're doing this, I'm just gonna pop the 
free to play metal coolers, I guess. <laughs> uh, and we'll we'll be able to check their details um, right here, I guess. I don't know. Let me just open multiple tabs. I mean, while I'm also doing the event, um, we have a Wii's active, so we shouldn't worry. Uh, we'll do this way right here. Uh, we'll do this, and if we do take some damage, I will use a Princess Snake instead of a Whis. I want to be able to get a lot of defense with these guys heading into the next fight. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna open multiple tabs and just discuss the uh, the free-to-play metal coolers me while this is going on. Um, okay, we got the. Uh, let me just take off this tab right here. Um, metal coolers are doing pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm hoping that wow, 4.3 million. Okay. Uh, I'm still opening the tabs and everything. <laughs> so they're not doing that bad. If obviously if they get their additionals pumping out ready to go, we should be good. Um, let's see. Where? Uh, I might have to rotate Metal Cooler off. And in any case, we do get the revive with one of them. I just don't want to use a Whis right now because we, I guess we are kind of close to killing him, but. Uh, if we do die, then uh, I guess I'll come back, man. There, there's no other choice. Uh, what can I do? I want to be able to beat this stage in here with this free-to-play team, man. It's possible. It's absolutely doable. It's just that you got to be able to think about it well. Yeah, we're taking 80k, dude. I think we might get the revive. Uh, if we do get the revive, then that's fine. Uh, that, that means that we got another fighting chance, I guess, at this. Come on, Metal Cooler. Give yourself some stacks, or hopefully the RNG is with us and they don't super in this turn. Maybe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, we'll do this right here. Hopefully they don't just insta kill us, or they don't they don't super attack us because we don't have. They don't have the greatest of defense in here, and um, we're we're not looking pretty. Basically, we are not looking good if these guys get super attack that's gonna be very awful all right let, let's make this turn happen if we do die then i'll have to hop back in it's fine if i if i have to um come on don't super don't super don't super okay okay we're good this guy's gonna raise his defense again um yeah i forgot <laughs> let me also bring metal cooler <laughs> kind of forgot what dokkan fest metal cooler does now uh okay the rng is helping us a lot uh, kill him right here. Free to play metal cooler. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 We're good. We're good. We're going to the next fight This Goku right here this int Goku hits insanely hard dude. My god He is possibly one of the hardest hitting units uh, like hardest hitting bosses now in this game So the AGL Dokkan Fest metal cooler. Oh, no, he just races attack for one turn so he has his uh, his defense stacked up because of his passive and stuff like that. So that's going to be very useful as well. Uh, I'm going to use another Whis just to defend ourselves. I just don't... I, I feel like we just might get obliterated in this fight. Because our defense is not sitting the, the at the best level. Uh, if we do get lucky, we don't get a lot of... We do get the best RNG. We just don't get super attack. That's going to help us out a lot. Um... Uh, but yeah, uh, let me see how well we are doing in this fight. Don't super me immediately. Please don't. Okay. So the AGL free-to-play metal cooler. Uh, I think all of them, they lead different categories. Yeah. Okay. I thought they were going to lead the same categories in there. So So all uh, let's, let's go ahead and talk about the AGL one. The AGL one leads accelerated battle category key plus three. All stats, uh, all stats 77%. That's a lot of damage there. Uh, we've seen the active skill, so let's go ahead and just uh, skip it right here. Um, he greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy. Uh, the secondary leader skill, they they basically... Uh, ooh. Yeah, l let me do this just in case. Even if we don't... How many links do we get? Ah, this is a free-to-play metal cooler. Man, this is another metal cooler that's not full level 10 links. That's a problem. Um, he's able to change STR key spheres to rainbow key spheres if the character is the first attacker in the turn at the start of the turn. He's able to provide attack it or he's able to get attack and defense plus 40% per wicked bloodline category ally on the team, up to 200 percent 
That means if you have all five of them, you get uh you get all the buffs available to you. Then all allies they get a key plus two. And they also uh, that's all allies get key plus two. They have uh, he also has a medium chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack. One of the main reasons I possibly prevent him a little bit of extra dodge. Um plus an additional uh a chance of evading enemies attack including super attack plus 20% with three or more rainbow key spheres obtained. Uh, gonna be pretty useful, pretty uh pretty useful in terms of like these fights. Uh plus an additional defense plus 25% per key sphere obtained when there's another ally whose name includes metal cooler attacking in the same turn. Okay. Uh uh, I don't know, man. This fight, I'm very nervous. Very, very nervous. Uh, he has not. Uh, I, I'm not gonna jinx it, but um, let me just prepare the Dokkan attack for the next fight. Uh, hopefully, if we survived, if we survived, then we're good. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, even with type of banish, dude. Uh, they all of these guys have the same links, which is auto regeneration, fuse, uh, fusion, deficit boost. Okay, we're dead. Oh no, 300. Mm, I mean, still, that's a lot of damage, though. Ooh, don't take a lot of damage, my boys. Don't take a lot of damage. I, I, I'm watching the screen. I'm just glued to the screen. Don't take a lot. Okay. We transformed. Okay. That's that's going to be helpful. We're going to do, pl uh, hopefully, plenty of damage. So, um, their links are auto regeneration, fusion, deficit boost, brutal beatdown, thirst for conquest, strongest land of space, and shattering the limit. Uh, pretty good link set, I, I, I would say. I guess we're a free-to-play team, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what what else can I tell you? What can I say, man? This is a free-to-play team. Uh, alongside the Dokkan Fest Metal Cooler. And the friend LR Metal Cooler. Uh, LR Metal Cooler. So, uh, they're, uh, obviously they're not gonna be... Yeah, look at this. This is not hitting too hard, so... Let's go ahead and switch gears to the... Uh, to the attack one. Uh, Corroded Body and Mind... Category key plus three, all stats 77%, or all types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 40%. That's going to be basically the secondary leader skill for all the other metal coolers, uh, the free to play ones. Uh, the super attack is the supernova, they greatly uh, raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy. I believe that's all the conditions for the super attack, basically. Uh, the passive skill, incapacitation. Ooh, we got another turn, perfect. Uh, this is free damage, basically. Um, we'll do this right here, and then we will do this. Changes AGL key spheres to rainbow key spheres if the, attack, if the character is the first attacker at the start, in, at the start of turn. Uh, attack and defense plus 40% where we could bloodline category ally on the team, up to 200%. That's basically uh, that for everybody. Uh, attack to enemies, attack and defense minus 25% for two turns. Uh, I don't think this will count on this fight because Goku and Goku and Vegeta they don't let their attack get lowered. So, nor this Goku. Um, seals the attacked enemy super attack for two turns with three or more key spheres obtained. Rainbow key spheres obtained. That's pretty good. They also get an additional um, attack plus twenty five percent per key sphere obtained when there's another ally whose name includes Metal Cooler attacking the same turn. We're still on turn eight, so what we can do is this, right? We're just gonna use all the items, I don't care. Uh, we don't have also the Wicked Bloodline category support memory, which is uh, another useful thing to have, because if we if we would've had that, then obviously we would've done a lot of good work on these fights. But uh, I believe this is uh, what we call in the hood a good old fashioned uh, GG. <laughs> uh, this should be game. Uh, we're gonna get the token attack with our boy LR Metal Cooler. Not a lot of links. I should I should have put the the tech one in the middle. But um, if in any case we do uh, not kill this Goku right here, then uh, I I, sh I could I, I would be able to kill him with the AGL Metal Cooler basically. Uh, let me also try to finish up because I believe we're about to finish the fight. Uh, let's go over for the int one right here. He didn't finish him off. Okay, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do that. So, uh, here you go. Uh, target Goku, key plus three, all stats at 77%. Or all types, key plus three, 
and HP attack and defense plus 40 percent uh there we go uh supernovas their super attack really resist defense for one turn causes a bring damage to enemy that's the same thing uh and then the passive skill changes tech key spheres for rainbow key spheres if the character is the first attacker in the start of the turn um They also get an attack and defense plus 40% per wicked bloodline category other than the team up to 200%. Uh, I believe that first portion of their passive is going to be the same for every single metal cooler. The only thing that changed is the second part. So they recover, this man recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn. He's able to recover an additional 5% HP at the end of the turn with three or more keys just obtained. That's why one of the main reasons we healed a lot was because of that uh, at the beginning fights. Um, Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained when there's another ally whose name includes Metal Cooler attacking the same turn. So that in Metal Cooler is going to be precious if we get a lot of orbs. Uh, the SDR one, movie bosses, or category key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 77%. Uh, the same thing on their passive, physical to rainbow. Uh, the only thing that changes is that all allies get attack and defense plus 20%. Uh, they also get, an, well, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% for extreme class allies with three or more key spheres obtained. That means it's a great support type unit, this STR Metal Cooler right here. Uh, plus an additional attack plus 25% per key, uh, per key sphere obtained when there's another ally whose name includes Metal Cooler attacking the same turn. And then we also got the physical one. He leads revenge category, key plus three, all stats 77%. Uh, changes in key spheres to rainbow key spheres if he's the first attacker. Uh, they get the same attack and defense plus 40% for wicked bloodline team uh, category on the ally on the team. He recovers 15% of HP as damage uh, dealt as HP. Sorry, he recovers an additional 5% of damage dealt as HP with three or more key spheres obtained. That's another reason why we got so a lot of HP at the beginning of the fights. We heal because this guy uh, was able to withstand all of those attacks from. Uh, from Goku and Vegeta and the Goku. Uh, he's also able to obtain additional defense plus 25% per key sphere obtained when there's another ally whose name includes Metal Cooler attacking the same turn. So obviously you guys see the pattern here. You guys want to run these Metal Coolers together basically. So uh, there you go. The last stage of the fighting spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline event beaten with only a 170% lead. Full free to play units and a friend LR Metal Cooler there. So that's one of the many strats that you can be able to do. And if you do have the Wicked Bloodline support memory, which I believe if you beat the Redstone stages, you should have already. Um, that is another way that you can be able to beat this stage. So I, I know that it took a little bit too long, but I did want to fully attempt this with just a free to play team. There, has, they, there wasn't many cuts. You guys saw that I only did four attempts at this. So uh, yeah, you guys can be able to check the video out. Like, uh, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. Um, but yeah, fully doable with a free-to-play team. Uh, one of the main reasons uh, I think a lot of people stresses this out, that this is a difficult event. You can be able to do that with, the, with a free-to-play team. So let me know what you guys think about this team. Let me also know what you guys think about the latest uh, difficult stage of the Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline event. Uh, if you do like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, if your subscribe page or if you guys have seen the page and your subscribe button is on red, then you guys are not subscribing to the channel. So make sure you click that big red subscribe button. If you guys are new, make sure you join in on the Discord. The link is in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.